should have asked God, should I do this? But I did not acknowledge him. Even as Solomon told me, I've been taught the scripture. I can quote Proverbs 3, 4, and 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path. Knew the scripture, but did what I wanted to do. But now I've got to learn not to do that again. Tell somebody else, you must continue. Be seated. Again, he knows opposition coming, Timothy. Something you have been taught from childhood. Notice what he reminds young Timothy. You have known the Holy Scripture. You've known the word. Notice what he said, which is able to make one wise. See, the word is actually that which teaches us not to be foolish. Am I right? You can operate in foolishness, but once you come into the knowledge of the word, it'll make you wise. The word will not just make you wise to singing and dancing in the church. The word will make you wise in reference to how to handle your money. The word will make you wise in the reference to how to handle your spouse and how to love your neighbor, how to strive to treat oh, everybody right. The word will make you wise. When I was a fool, it took the word to smarten me up. Took a good preacher, a good teacher. To expound on the word and make me wise, listen to my own foolishness. Because sometimes we are our own worst enemy and we mess up ourselves. Don't just worry about people deceiving you. Don't just worry about circumstances deceiving you. But worry about getting deceived by yourself. We often mess up. Ourselves. So he tells young Timothy again. I keep stressing that he's young. And Paul is the mature one. He's the mature teacher. He's the one who knows better. He's the one full of wisdom. And sometimes you have to stop in life and listen to those who are more wiser than, than you are. We have to be so much in tune with God that yes, we're going to learn according to Romans 15 and 4. We learn from what was written aforetime, Paul says to the church at Rome, was written for our learning. In other words, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we got to learn from them. Moses and Israel, we got to learn from them. When it comes to the judges, we got to learn from them. When it comes from the major and minor prophets, we got to learn from them. When it comes to the books of wisdom, Proverbs, Song of Solomon, and so Ecclesiastes, we've got to learn. We've got to be learners. Because if we're not learners, we will repeat mistakes made by former saints. And you can repeat a mistake of something that you should have learned, and it can cause you to go down a path you really didn't have to go down. All you had to do was learn from somebody else. Oh, tell your neighbor experience is not the best teacher. Tell your neighbor it's a good teacher, but not the best teacher. Listen, you have to learn from others' mistakes. One of the best ways to learn the best way to learn is from God. I'm going to prove that. But I also understand God wants us to learn, watch this, from each other. See, when you testify about certain things, I need to learn from your testimony. I don't need to repeat the same behavior, end up in the same ditch you testifying that God brought you out of. I need to learn from what you're saying. Come on, somebody. Some of us are old, but we don't learn from others. And whenever you don't learn from history, history has a way of repeating itself. History has a way of teaching the same lesson to fools who didn't learn it the first time. Come on, I know that's tough. I know that's tough. And even when we look at our past, mistakes that we've made, errors that we have made, don't keep making the same mistake. Learn from what you did the last time. Don't 
Keep making unwise choices. Learn from the decision you made the last time that made things work and decide this time before I move, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. And when, you, and when you take time to pray before you move, you know what that's saying about you? You learn from the last mistake. Learn from moving too fast. Shouldn't have got the loan. I should have should have waited on God. Should should have heard from God before I signed the paper. Should should have read the agreement through. Should have asked God, should I do this? But I did not acknowledge Him. Even as Solomon told me, I've been taught the Scripture. I can quote Proverbs three, four, and five. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him. He will direct your path. Knew the Scripture, but did what I wanted to do. But now I've got to. Learn not to do that again. Come on, somebody. Because some of us getting too old to continue repeating our same follies. Am I right about that? I try to learn from my mistakes. Notice what he tells them again. He tells Timothy, but you must continue in the things I mean, verse 14, which you have learned. Notice that Timmy has not memorized things because Paul said the things you learn, you've been assured of. You have confidence in what you've been taught. Come on. Some of us are not just getting taught, but we have confidence in the teaching we have received. Come on. Some of us don't just give to be given. We've been taught about giving and we have confidence that our giving will change our living. We, we have confidence that if we give it shall be given back. Good. Press. Shaking and running. Tell anybody I got confidence in that. That's the reason I'll put a seed on the altar and have expectation that it'll grow. Rather than sitting in the congregation being stingy and in need but not applying what I've been taught. See, it, it, it's, it, it's one thing to be taught something. It's another thing to have, to have assurance in what you've been taught. To have a knowing, to have an understanding about. Ain't just been taught giving. You understand giving. You grasp how essential and important it is to give. You've been taught prayer. Come on. You learn why you need to pray. Men aren't always to what? And not what? See, you've been taught. And so to skip prayer means you're not assured of what you've been taught. But he tells Timothy, you ain't just been taught, son. But notice what he says to him again. But you've been assured of. You have confidence. What did the Hebrew writer tell the church? He said, cast not away, therefore, your what? Confidence. We have great recompense of what? Reward. For you have need of patience or endure that after you've done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Hebrew 10 and 35. But see, I've got to be assured. When trouble shows up, I can't lose my assurance in what I've been taught. I can't let temporary trials cause me to forsake the good teaching I received on Sunday. Came to Bible study, press your way. Got taught a good message. Don't let trouble cause you to forsake what you've been taught. Hold on to what you've been taught. Come on, somebody. But notice what he also said. Then he reminds Timothy, knowing, latter clause of 14, knowing from whom you have learned them. You ain't just been taught, Timothy. But in reference to where your teaching came from, notice this, it came from God or things, or people who pertain to God. See, it's important to recognize when you learn something and have assurance in it, you need a knowing from where it came from. See, because if God teaches me a thing, I don't need to move off of that. I don't need to let anything sway me or sway my mind to thinking differently. Come on, somebody. You got to know. And see, when you come to church, you're not just taught by me. But you're taught to whatever pertains unto him. That means what the deacons say one Sunday. You need to know that the deacon is saying what he's saying because it's Bible. 
See, when I teach all on Sunday morning, but you want to go do contrary on Sunday evening, I ain't going to miss my reward. Because my job is to teach not to make do. Woo! My job is to teach people not to make them do what I teach. I am the teacher, not the maker. Come on, somebody. My job is to make sure you've been taught. And in this church, we get enough dancing. Yeah, we do. We get enough singing. See, if all y'all do is dance and shout, and then trouble show up, and trouble move you, and God deemed it's moving you because I'm not teaching you, then I'm in trouble with God. Do you feel me? 